Finn Wolfhard. Yeah. My God, that kid is ugly. That kid is the definition. I love of- that kid though. He's cool. Oh, and now we shall talk about the thing I have never watched. The strangest of things. I think I've discovered why you don't like Stranger Things. There's not enough boobs. Mm, close. Keep going. Uh, not enough young boys. Getting closer. Not enough young boys and girls. Not enough attractive people in this. That what, is true. What I say about this show is that no one looks like an actor in this. Everyone looks like normal people. The only people who look like actors, this Joe Keery guy looks like an actor. Winona Ryder looks like an actor. Maybe David Harbour. But everybody else looks like ugly, normal people. And that's kind of <laughs> weird. Ugly, normal. Even Maya Hawke, who is Ethan Hawke and... Uh, Uma Thurman. Uma Thurman's daughter. She ain't good looking in this. Is she a, like a main person? Yes. There's a lot of main characters in this. A lot of main characters. Is that the the Joe Henry guy good? Or good Joe Keery? They're all main people? Joe Keery. Yeah, he's a, he's a main character. There's like, I'm going to say like 10 main characters. Oh. Uh, what I will say about this season, this season... Part I, one. I started off. Yeah, this is only part one of, of two parts in the the final season of Stranger Things, the most expensive, biggest budget, biggest show that Netflix has ever done. It's enormous. Every episode's like an hour and a half, and there's seven episodes. That's in rough. The first season. It is brutal to get through. Brutal. But and what at first I felt like was a detriment to the show because they're so long. I'm starting to find as charming because they really give every character a chance to shine and have their own moments and get and they're like, You kids, you've been in this show for like six years, you're gonna act your asses off and you're gonna try as hard as you can, and every one of the kids really pulls through. Where's everyone is Wolfie? pretty charming? Finn Wolfhard? Yeah. My God, that kid is ugly. That kid is the definition. I love of that kid, though. He's cool. So ugly. He's He would be my favorite. He's so ugly. Is he in it a lot? Yes. He's one of the stars, for sure. They, they did have... pull one of the kids' roles back, but yeah. Do they have powers? No, they're just kids. Paul Reiser's in it. The, the only famous people really in it are Winona Ryder, David Harbour, and he was basically made because of Stranger Things, right? Matthew Modine and Paul Reiser. So Everyone no one else famous. is nobodies. Be- Brett Gelman's good, but he's not anybody. But he has a really good role. I just think all the kids are really good. They all do a really fantastic job. They've done a great job. It's a little hard to believe that they're all high schoolers still at this point, but the show is just so genuine and so... This season is a little tough because they don't connect it to the upside down as much as they should have. But I really, really enjoy this this half of I the first season. I still have no idea what Stranger Things is even about. The easy answer for that is um, there's a town in Indiana where everybody thinks they're cursed. But in reality, uh, there's an alternate dimension that they have kind of pierced through that has been causing problems for the town for many many years just the town yeah and there's more to it than that there's like government conspiracies and cover-ups and like russians and all sorts of crazy it gets crazy it's almost to the point where my suspension of disbelief is going out the window but i like the characters and the way it's directed and everything so much the only thing i will say as a as an aside to this they spend so much stinking money on each episode. There are all these CGI shots that just don't need to be in there. If they cut half of that CGI out, there's like scenes just for scenes. Like I would say it's bloated on some level. Like there's too much. You know how Netflix suffers from bloat? Yeah. Because nobody edits this garbage. This season's a little bloated, but I really, I really enjoy it. I agree with the ninety percent. It's definitely an A minus. It's a big step up from season three. Season three was was a little tough, and the audience score reflects it. 
Season two, I thought was pretty good, right in there. And then season one is really, really good. People love that. This could be as good as, uh, the only, uh, one other point I'll make about it. If you wanted to see horror in Stranger Things, this is horror. It's as if they watched, they were like, I'm gonna watch all of my favorite horror movies and put it into the show. They put like the ring in it. They put um, there's a, there's a lot of, of like creature effects in it. There's a little bit of the thing. There's a little bit of tentacle stuff. It's it's crazy. It's dark. It's real creepy. There's a lot of horror elements to it and a lot of like horrific images. Maybe I'll watch it at one point. You should just binge it and you'll be like, oh yeah, I understand why people like this. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. And Millie Bobby Brown, I, I do think... She's not hot enough. She's really... I'm going to show you a video where you might disagree. Where she's hot? Yeah. How old is she? Before she I admit just she's turned hot. 18. All right. I can admit she's hot now. Okay. She's literally... That that, that girl, I, I do... At first, I was like a little un, unsure how I felt about her. I think she's actually a really good actress. And I think... I, uh, you can be a good actress and be ugly. Did you see her in Godzilla movies, though? Did you like her in the Godzilla yeah, movies? Yeah, nah, she existed she, in them. Okay, well, I, I like her. I think she's she's doing a lot of heavy lifting in this, this season. And uh, she's really good. She's acting against some really good actors. Like, Paul Reiser's great. And um, Matthew Modine is, is a good actor, too. And then, it, like, they just put her in these situations where it's, it's really good. I really enjoy it. I recommend it. I highly recommend it. It's really fantastic. So if you were looking, hopefully this ends good. Most people are pissed by the endings of their favorite shows, right? Like Ozark. And Game of Thrones. People are pissed. People are angry. This so far seems like it's going in the right direction and I'm enjoying it. So please keep it up. Hopefully it, it, it ends in a good way. It's very dark though. Like figuratively and literally. It's filmed like in the dark. Like almost, almost everything. I do dark. like it dark. 